Hello, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to discuss how to use event-based gateways. Before we dive into our pre-built model for carrier selection, let's discuss two basic characteristics of the event-based gateway. Event-based gateways are represented by a diamond and double circle. Think multiple intermediate event inside a gateway. The process path branching is based on events that occur after the gateway. Throughout this video, we will discuss additional event-based gateway characteristics. To help follow along, we will use some pop-up icons to describe some key points. So after we select a carrier, we use an intermediate message throwing event. To notify a carrier, we have selected them. A key rule for event-based gateways is that the specific event that occurs after the gateway decides the path taken. In this instance, we have three possible events. Another important rule is that you must have two or more outbound sequence flows. Only one can be taken. In the first instance, we depict how the selected carrier sends us a schedule confirmation. We then connect a sequence flow to the exclusive gateway. Exclusive gateways are required when joining event-based gateways. In the second instance for the event-based gateway, we use the intermediate timer event to illustrate that after five days, this process path is taken. Lastly, if the intermediate conditional event, new service addition, occurs before confirmation or five days, this process path is taken. In which case, we prepare new documents and the process loops back to select a carrier. Now let's illustrate what happens after five days another selection notification would go out. We use the event-based gateway to illustrate two possible events that can occur. The first is that the carrier has three days to respond. If they don't, we will select another carrier. To illustrate the second event that can occur, we use the intermediate message event if they respond with a schedule confirmation. But with this event, if we receive a schedule confirmation, we can use the exclusive gateway to join our process and we are able to create a delivery notification for a customer. Thanks again for joining us on how to use event-based gateways. If you're interested in learning more about BPMN and how you can apply BPMN to your organization's business process models, please subscribe to our channel as we routinely create new videos. See you next time.